Charmaine Goodlow was the best big sister Daniel Goodlow could ask for. She's always about giving back. Even when she didn't have it, she just made a way to give it. Even giving her heart to someone her family didn't think deserved it. It was March of last year when the family says Charmaine survived being shot several times by an ex-boyfriend. Her body at times weak, but her faith still strong. I remember one time she went to church and she said, dang, I can't raise my right hand, but I can still raise my left and give him glory. Daniel never imagined a little over a year later and the family would be getting another call that Charmaine was shot. Never, really. Um, it's just a, it's just a shock because it's a phone call in the middle of the night. And you're thinking that, you know, it's going to be like the last situation, like last year that she pulls through. This time, she didn't make it. For someone to have hatred in their heart, to do that, is a tough thing. Metro Nashville homicide detectives say Charmaine was sitting outside her Buena Vista apartment just before midnight on Monday when gunfire erupted, striking her multiple times in her legs. Officers tried saving her life, but Charmaine died from her injuries at the hospital. So far, no arrest, no word of a suspect. Daniel says they just want justice. I want them to, um, I want them to see my sister as their sister. A strong black woman that was murdered and you have information? I mean, help us. Help us find justice because she didn't deserve it. A family fighting for answers, but leaning on their truth. We're not trying to find revenge or anything like we're not doing none of that. We we are just trying to do what he called us to do, and that's love. And that's for praying for our enemies. In Nashville, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.